Hi everyone, this is Glenda Ganzon and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to continue discussing on the negative effect of poor personal hygiene. So stay tuned. From my previous video, I've discussed about the five diseases or five negative effects of having a poor personal hygiene and they are the athlete's foot, body lice, chronic diarrhea, tooth decay, and head lice. Now we will continue with the pubic lice. So what is a pubic lice? They are also known as scrubs and they infect the genital area. And they may also reside in the armpit or facial hair and they are smaller than the head lice or body lice. Pubic lice are primarily transmitted through sexual intercourse or sexual contact. Less commonly, a person can get a pubic lice by sharing towels, blankets, or clothing. The signs and symptoms of pubic lice include number one, the itching in the genital region or arms, which may intensify at night and pale blue spots close to uh, the bites also loose droppings which should resemble to dark brown powder on the skin or in the underwear and a low grade fever and the last one is of course irritability because uh, this is very itchy another one is or this is now the number seven the hot or the hot tub rush hot tub folliculitis or pseudomonas folliculitis is a skin infection that results from bacteria called pseudomonas aeruginosa i'll repeat pseudomonas aeruginosa this is the infection that is usually the result of using poorly maintained hot tubs but don't worry here in the philippines not most of us have uh bath tubs but most of us are fond of going to the resort swimming in the sw swimming in the resort uh, in the swimming pool and of course uh, if it's a commercial pool then you know exactly not all but some of the commercial swimming pool are you know dirty and they are not properly maintained so hot tub folliculitis occurs when a person gets a p aeruginosa infection so this p aeruginosa bacteria multiply in hot temperatures and thrive in the type of water conditions found in poorly maintained hot tubs so the bacteria can still survive in chlorinated water and it can also grow in other warm wet places such as the contaminated pools the lakes and rivers the water slides of course uh the whirlpool also nylon bath uh, puffs or towel and they can harbor bacteria and cause pseudomonas folliculitis so these bacteria enter hair follicles causing itchy red or purple bumps on the skin and hot tubs folliculitis will often clear up without any treatment within few days and the infection is usually harmless in otherwise healthy people number eight is we have these pinworms the pinworm also known as thread worm and they are very common in as um, intestinal parasite the medical condition associated with pinworm infestation is known as the enterobiasis they are parasites meaning that they use the human body to survive and reproduce 
human pinworms cannot infect any other animals but only human adult worms are just 0.2 to point or 0.4 inches or that is 5 to 10 millimeters in length and about the size of a staple wire and they are white or cream colored and look like small pieces of thread pinworms can live for up to six weeks may i just share you some facts about the pinworms the worms mature in the intestine and then move through the digestive system to lay eggs at night and uh, in the anal area the itchiness tends to be worse or more noticeable at night and can sometimes wake a person with pinworms the pinworm can lay thousands of microscopic eggs and they're not visible with naked eye if an individual only has a small number of adult worms the symptoms will be mild or there may be no symptoms at all and symptoms are worse with heavy or moderate infection about four weeks after ingesting pinworms eggs the mature females make their way out from the intestine to the anal area where eggs are laid in a jelly-like substance it is um in this substance that is believed to cause a person to each um which usually happens at night and during the maturing and reproduction stage a person with pinworms may experience a disturbed sleep itching at the anal area which may sometimes be intense especially at night when female worms are laying eggs another is there is a mild nausea and individual with these pinworms with severe infection may experience loss of appetite also severe irritability another is intermittent abdominal pain and also sleeping difficulties and of course weight loss so if somebody is found to have an infection all other members of the household should be treated too even if they have no symptoms number nine is scabies scabies is one of the several skin conditions that can cause itching and rashes it is a dermatologic condition caused by sarcoptis scaby an eight-legged microscopic mite scabies is contagious and can spread very easily from person to person through close or close physical contact this makes an outbreak likely in settings such as the family home uh, child care group school class nursing home or even in the prison or jail however it can affect people of all ages whatever their living situation and socioeconomic status if an individual has escaped this they and anyone they have close contact with must all be treated at the same time so here are some facts of, again about scabies while the scabies might need skin to feed and survive it can live without a human host for 48 to 72 hours the rush and itching experienced by those with scabies is a result of body's allergic reaction to the mites their eggs and of course their ways the average person infested with scabies will have 15 to 20 mites present and those are the, the highest risk of developing crusted scabies include immunocompromised which are the elderly and those housed in institutional settings number 10 is the swimmer's ear swimmer's ear is an infection that can occur after spending a long time in the water or outdoors in the wind and rain it affects the skin that covers the outer ear canal which leads to the 
um, eardrum. And despite the name swimmer's ear is more common in the people who are not swimmers, individuals who spend a lot of time outdoors such as farmers often get this kind of infection. The medical name for swimmer's ear is acute diffuse external otitis. Bacteria can, accumul can accumulate in the water while swimming in areas of fresh water. For example, some can enter the ear and remain for a long time, especially if the water becomes trapped by wax. The ear has ways of protecting itself from infection, but this works best when the area is dry. If ear is damp, bacteria can thrive resulting in infection. Fungal infection can also occur in the ear and in most cases, doctor can easily treat the infection and receiving treatment early can prevent um, further complication. And lastly is the ringworm. Ringworm or tinea refers to several types of contagious fungal infection on the top of or on the top layer of the skin, scalp, and even the nails. It is called ringworms because the itchy red rash has a ring-like appearance. However, ringworm is nothing to do with worms. And it can affect different parts of the body. And here are some key points about ringworm or ringworms. Ringworm is nothing to do with worms. Take note of that. Ringworm is caused by a uh, fungus that eats keratin, which is the protein found in the skin, hair, and nails. And children under 15 years old are particularly susceptible to ringworm. So this ends my discussion about the negative effect or the diseases that you can get from having a poor personal hygiene. If you have any question, Please write it in the comment section down below and I'll be glad to answer them all. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated with my new videos in the future. Once again, I would like to thank you all for watching this video and God bless everyone. And stay safe. Bye.